If you guys are looking for the cheapest and most reliable coins on the market, make sure to head over to utnice.com and use code CHIEF for 6% off at checkout. Now let's go ahead and jump right into this video. What's up guys, it's Fief Chief here and welcome back to another video on my channel. Today we have for you some more insane trading methods that are going to help you make a ton of coins on FIFA 22. Now, if you are enjoying the content or you are new around here, I ask that you do please drop a like on the video and subscribe to the channel. I really do appreciate it and it helps me out a ton. And then make sure to check out all the links in the description, like Twitch for all my daily live streams, Discord for all sorts of trading advice and investments, and all the other links down there as well. And with all that said, let's go ahead and let's jump right into these trading methods so we got three different filters for you guys to try out today that are all going to be really solid for you so jumping into our first one here we're going to go rare gold position goalkeeper nation france so in this filter we have loris areola and Minion, wherever he's at so the two main ones you're going to be picking up while using this are areola and Minion. but if you do get lucky and get a loris you are going to be swimming in coins so if we go ahead and check the price here areola is currently the cheapest selling for right around 26 2700 it looks like let's take a look so 2700 there's a couple let's check 2800 so we're going to be selling these about 2700 here. Now selling for 2700, you're going to lose 135 coins on tax. So I would try to pick these up for like 2400 or less here, sniping and bidding. Now with this filter, I find sniping to be kind of the way to go with it. I feel like that's how I get the most cards. Now we're going to check out bidding and see how many deals there are there, but First, let's see if we can pick up a card. You can see they're popping up relatively quickly. I'm just struggling to get one here. Let's see if we can get one. I don't know what my problem is, but I just cannot seem to get one of these rare gold French goalkeepers here. Already had two pop up though. So as you can see, it's a pretty consistent filter. Right now, it looks like there's some pretty heavy competition on it though. So I would probably move on to another filter, which is why we're going to have two more for you guys in this video. Let's go ahead and check out the bids before moving on to our next filter here. So there isn't one expiring very soon here. Let's, let's, uh, Let's go into here. So, I mean, there's an areola there. We could bid 24 on. Someone went ahead and bid 24. How about that one? So, someone is bidding 24 on most of these here. So, this is when I would then move on to another filter because this has got a lot of competition on it, which is why we show you guys so many filters. You can try out a lot of these. Now, moving into our next one, we're going to jump over to the Bundesliga here. Club, we're going to go Bayern Munich here. And we're going to go goal rare position midfield. So with this filter, there are a lot of cards you can pick up. <coughs> My goodness. We have Nabry, Savitzer, Muller. Who else are we missing here? There's like Kimmich and stuff, but he's like very, very high rate. Sane, that's who I was missing. So moving into the prices of these cards, Savitzer is the cheapest. And he's usually right around like 3000 coins, I believe. Let's see, so he's a little bit cheaper right now, looking like 2600 maybe. Yeah, so about 2600 for Sabitzer here. So let's say, oh, 2700 So again, I would try to pick these up same price as the last filter for 2400 or less. If you get a Sabitzer, it's decent profit. If you get any of these other cards that are a little bit more expensive, you are absolutely swimming in coins. And man, the market is active today. There's cards popping up left and right, but we can't seem to hit a snipe here. So... Again, if I miss this next one here, this is when I'd move on to bidding and see if it's really active on the bidding front. And if it still is, that's when I would just say like, all right, whatever, time to go to another filter. And this last filter we have is probably my favorite of all of them in this video. So let's see if we can scoop ourselves one last card here. Come on, someone just give us a Savitzer for 2000 coins. That's all I ask. That's all I ask. All right, let's check out bidding here and just see what kind of deals are floating around on the bidding front. So there's a lot more here, it looks like. A couple cards expiring in the next like three, four minutes here. Uh, let's just have, have a look, flick through these. We had a Sane there with a 6.2K bid on him. I swear Sane goes like 10K. He definitely does. I'm going to drop a bid on him there. I'm going to drop a 6.4K bid on him. And then I'm going to check his price on Footbin real quick. 
just so I'm not being an idiot and bidding on a card that has dropped a ton in price. So Sane here is, yeah, he's selling basically 10k on the dot. He's like 9.8k. 9k I'll bid. That'll be, I'll bid 9.1. That'll be my last bid on him. That we got a bunch of Sabitzers that are going to expire in about three minutes. So while we're waiting on those and hopefully getting the Sane, nope. So we'll move on to our third and final filter, which I mentioned is my favorite in this video. So what we're going to do is we're going to jump to the Premier League here. We're going to go Club Chelsea. We're going to go Nation Spain. So in this filter, what we're looking at is Saul and Azpilicueta. Only two cards in here, so nothing crazy. But if we take a look at these, the price they're selling for right now should have picked up that Azpilicueta for 1000 there. Um, so these are selling basically 1300 right now. So selling for 1300 you lose 65 on tax. So I typically try to pick these up for 1100 or 1000 or less. And that'll be really nice for you. And the thing is, Saul's going about 1800 So if you pick him up, you're making some pretty decent profit on that card there. So let's see if we're able to pick one up here. Get a decent deal. Make us some good coins. Asbel Equator there. I mean, we miss out on him. But the thing with these lower, these lower level cards that don't go for as much... This is where bidding and mass bidding on these cards is super, super effective to make you coins. So maybe you come in and you just go ahead and bid on all the Azpilicuetas. We got a Saul coming in. And mass bidding on these cards that don't go for as much is really, really good. Okay, Saul is up in price. A 2k bid on him there. Let's kind of have a look around. Anything expiring soon? Nothing with any crazy deals there. So again, that's our last filter for this one. Is going to be that gold rare Spanish Chelsea. Now let's kind of jump back over to our bids and kind of see what the deal is on all these. We got an Aspel Equator there that's been bid on. Let's have, so Sabitzer has been basically bid up all the way. Let's bid 24 on this guy and see if we can pick him up there. And it's just about staying consistent with these methods. We give you so many filters just because you need to find one where there's not much competition. You're able to consistently get these cards. And when it comes to mass bidding as well, what you could just do is what this person is doing. And with all these Aspel Equators, just go through, bid 1100 on all of them, and list them all for 1300 Make 135 coins per card after tax. And I mean, you get you get nine of those cards, you're making over 1,000 coins, which is really, really good profit still. What do I have selling here? Oh, just some other junk, I guess. And then some junk on the transfer list that we'll relist. There we go. But yeah, that's, that's kind of it for these filters so again just to run through it we have chelsea rare gold spanish we have rare gold french goalkeepers and then we have rare gold bayern munich midfielders another set of decent filters for you guys to try out let me know if these are working for you and how many coins you're making especially off that spanish chelsea filter but guys that's gonna be it for this video if you did enjoy it make sure to like comment and subscribe and I'll catch you in the next video.